watching these trailers once. That was last night. It was really late. So, I don't... My memory is a bit fuzzy about uh, about them. But there are two trailers. One was the D23, and it showed off uh, Monsters, Inc. And there was another one that showed off um, Utada's new song and uh, and your boy Riku. So let's just take a look at both of them. We'll just do a one pass, and then and then we'll kind of like just pick up things that I think are interesting to talk about, and then we'll do that. <sighs> Peggy 12. Irundaro, Moto Jusan Kika Moto Zibuna Yuareo Dana. That the oh, 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 wait, 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 here we go. Here we go. This is good. Nobody of Hitzeritanoa, Moto Jusan Kikandaro. Ah, Shinju San Kikandaro, you hide the Noga.私は新十三期間のマールシャ。あえて久しぶりと言わせてもらおう。そら、久しぶり。知ってる?うん。お前の記憶になくても、私はお前のことをよく覚えている。今日こそあの黒いモヤモヤをやっつけるぞ。作
things they don't really mean, really mean. Oh, you're only everything I ever dreamed, ever dreamed of, ever dreamed of. What is this beat? It should be faster. Oh, come on! Oh, it's, it could be so good! They, like, deliberately slow it down. It's off. What the heck? Oh my god, this is... This is bugging the shit out of me. Oh. Oh, why is... Why are there spaces? No! No! Oh, that upsets me. <laughs> oh, that really upsets me. Check out your boy. He's got a feed neck! Ah! <laughs> Look at this boy! Oh my god. It's literally Sora outfit on blue. All right, all right, so let's get to actually like breaking this down a little bit. I don't really have much to say, but we'll get into why that is, I guess. But let's go ahead and go to the beginning. Actually, hold on, no, we'll, we'll, uh... Okay, hold on, what was this guy's first line? Okay. So your boy, uh, so your boy Mar Marluxia is back, and then, uh, and then your boy Vanitas is back. I, um, here, let me drink water, please. I'm not going to say much about this because uh, a lot of people freaked out about this. Like, oh my god, they're back. But uh, whenever I think about it, I'm just kind of like, okay, that's cool. But like, what are they What are they doing? Like, what's so cool about them being back? Like, oh, we get to have Vinitas back. That was, I mean, he was kind of cute in BBS, but was he really, was he really all that special? And we're, I'm not going to give a shit about the Marluxia Lorium name, proper name sort of shit. Uh, it's not that big of a deal anyways. They both identify with the same thing. Yeah, one identifies a nobody and one identifies a somebody, but they both identify as each other anyways. So they may as well just have... They may as well just identify the same thing, all right? Marluxia is Lorium, Lorium is Marluxia. It's the same shit, but... Anyway, moving right along. Uh, we wanted to get about... Okay, this is cute. I actually thought this was really adorable. Um, this trailer represents a game currently in development. Alright, so the first thing that we get is... Um, like a helicopter and your boy's flow motion. So I guess I can, so it's like a dive sequence from, from Dream Drop Distance, it seems, where they're really, they're really trying to incorporate mechanics from all the different games into this game. I think that's what I've really noticed with this trailer, is that they're really trying to incorporate mechanics from like every single different major Kingdom Hearts game. So like, this is like the dive section from Dream Drop Distance, just straight up, just kind of thrown in there, which is neat, but they were not very popular in Dream Drop Distance anyway. I never enjoyed them. I don't know anybody who really thoroughly enjoyed uh, dive sections. So I guess I'm curious to see how this is going to work. Yeah, if you fall for a certain anime for a certain length of time, then you get like a dive falling animation, which I guess is cool. Gives and potentially gives you more options 
I'm down. Uh, it just has to be executed well, which could literally it could be executed great it could be executed like horribly this is square enix we're talking about so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to pray we're just gonna have to wait yeah. i'm really curious to see how thunder affects the environment here and how that can be used to your advantage because one thing that was really cool in uh in 0 0.2 well the most OP spell, it seemed, in 0 0.2 was Blizzard, just because freezing an enemy, or a group of enemies, if they were bunched together, was so useful. Uh, pinning, especially on higher difficulties, pinning down an enemy was, like, super important. So, okay, how many, let me, let me check the, the arrows to see how quickly that charged up. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take this back just a little bit. Go back. I want everybody to notice how quickly this charges up. Now you could you could make an argument that this is just in development, so this could totally be different by the end of the game. By the time the game comes out, I get it. But that was one thunder. That was one thunder, and he's got Thunderza, and he's got two charge arrows in one cast. Look how much MP he was required for that. That's free shit. Uh, that's free shit. So, balance is another thing that comes into play here. I hope that this is balanced in some way, shape, or form. If you can just get a Thunderza, just like that, without any, uh, without any effort, that, that kind of becomes a problem, if that's true for the final game. It might just be because it hit a large group. Well, even then, I would consider that to be a bit broken. Because, I don't know, in a certain sense. And even then, that has to be, like, a, sh a lot of targets, so I don't... I don't know. Like, are there that many targets in this area? Because I definitely remember when there were a lot of targets and you used thunder in 0 0.2, it took a decent amount of thunders to actually get to your... to get to your thunder gun, or thundaza, whatever. Alright, so new... Um, new Keyblade transformation. Quick claws, that's neat. Here's my thing. This is gonna be... It's gonna be exactly... Like last time, um, we'll 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 put it in slow motion so that everybody can see. All right, so quick claws. All right, that's probably three hits right there. Uh, it's the animations are again lengthily. Uh, go a, a gigantic amount of distance. Uh, I don't know what kind of invincibility or parry frames that go go with this, but again, it just it feels like it feels like every single hit or every single attack is a really long-winded attack, and I'm. And, I'm not sure what kind of tracking this thing is. I'm just really concerned about, about this sort of stuff because this is a recurring pattern that I'm noticing in these trailers. Is really long-winded uh, animations with these attacks. And that kind of poses a problem. So... It could potentially pose a problem. I'm not saying it actually is going to pose a problem. We have to wait until the game comes out. It's a pattern I'm noticing, and if it's a pattern then that means that it's going to be, it's going to probably apply to, like, all of these Keyblade transformations, and that's kind of a problem. Okay, so we're really, so it looks like they're very, very focused on environmental interaction in KH3, which is, I guess they were really kind of, you know, taking baby steps with this in, in 0 0.2 and in, th in 3D, but it looks like on, like, this place looks huge. So they really are, it, it, I don't know, they're really interested in this sort of stuff. I just don't know how it's going to play. And, and then you're going to see here. Yeah, 
it, you know, the, the grind rail. Hold on, how long did it take to get on that grind rail? That seemed pretty quick, actually. That's not too bad, actually. <laughs> well, that that was like instant, actually. There was there was no, check this shit out. Here, we're gonna, I, I'm not gonna do a frame advance, but we're just gonna like do it really, really slow. Check how quickly. Bam, he's on. Man, I mean, I don't know. That's kind of neat. I I approve. I approve. Ah, thanks, loves. Yo, uh, Dai Alon Twenty One. Thanks for the two months in a row. So yeah, I mean, if this is more robust and switching between like holding onto a door to going under the grind rail is really smooth, then this might actually really play well. So you know, props. I'll give I'll give credit where credit is due. This is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is more three D stuff. Okay, so notice right there that he canceled. So this is, I think this is something that I noticed before with other, um, with other trailers, but I didn't really point it out. But um, I don't think that the combos look faster. They look the same. Hold up, mute. Hmm. Right there. You guys notice that? Like the uh, the dodge roll canceling. Yeah, like right there. He um, that was the so so the way that this this the, I've seen this move a million times at this point. All right, and we, it's it's shown in this trailer right here. So let's take a look. So there there are, there are levels to this animation. So there's there there's the it it cuts it 45 degrees both ways and then it's a sweep, it's a sweep that goes really really low and it seems to launch enemies. So watch it right here. So it's one slash two slash and then that move right there is where it kind of goes for the sweep. And it's pretty long winded and I mentioned that last trailer, but uh, what's gonna happen here if uh, as soon as we get there is he's gonna do the two first slashes and then he rolls to cancel that last part of the animation. Oh, thanks, loves. Which I'm, I'm very interested in. Uh, I'm very interested to see where that goes. It could, it could lead to like really cool stuff. It could lead to nothing. Can you, can you cancel these moves with guard? Can you cancel these moves with just dodge roll? Can you cancel these moves with a jump? Very, these are the things that I'm like really curious about. If you can do those things, then there might be a lot of potential here with your normal Keyblade combat that I was kind of dogging on the last, uh, the last few trailers. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I just hope it ends up the way, I hope it ends up in a way that, you know, that caters to everybody, that would make everybody happy. And hopefully it's not just a one-off thing like, oh, we did this on accident or something. So let's just keep going. Yeah. Well, I kind of have to do the thing, don't I? But yeah, it seems like it seems like they really wanted to show off dodge roll canceling in this trailer. I'm not sure. I could be I could be reading too far into it. It could be. Cool. I don't know. Oh yeah, we have Mirage staff here, probably because of the Keyblade that he's using, which is, I mean, we're gonna see that I think later on. Yeah. Okay, so Mirage Staff is like Wisdom Form, essentially. It's like Wisdom Form, yeah. I mean, like, that's, that's essentially what this is. That's like, that's what this animation is pulled from, like directly, is, is Wisdom Form. So I find that kind of cool. Uh, I just, um, yeah. <sighs> Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the same thing that I did last time. This stuff looks really dope, uh, but the problem is how you get to it is based on like what moves connect with what enemies in what particular order, and if they don't hit in that particular order, then you don't get the Keyblade transformation of your choosing. So it looks like they aren't gonna be changing this anytime soon. I just really hope that it's not super difficult to actually get into a Mirage Staff or a uh, the hammer keyblade transformation or uh, the claws or stuff like that. I just hope That it all works out These look like the arrow. Hold on 
That might look like arrow, I'm not sure. All right, so now we're swimming. So yeah, like environmental, um, yeah, well, I mean, we, we saw in, we saw water in the swimming in Birth by Sleep. Uh, I just don't know if this is going to be a platforming sort of thing or a combat sort of thing or just, uh, hey, you can swim in water if you, like, I don't, we saw, we saw swimming in Kingdom Hearts 1, so I don't really know what the point of, is of showing, oh, dude, cool, check it out, Sora can swim, I don't know. I, we'll see. It could be, it could be nothing. It could be something. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, Ariel summon is like awesome. So I'm down. And then the shot lock is just a big gigantic AOE. <sighs> so we're, we're bringing in together elements from BBS. Um, I don't. I, see, the thing is, I can't tell if this has iframes. I don't know if this does big dick damage or not. I don't know if this is broken. I don't know what kind of, you know... Well, I, I know it, it comes from the focus gauge, obviously. I'm just really worried because Shotlocks and Birth by Sleep were really busted, and they also were very disjoint from the rest of combat. Uh, and that's kind of what worries me. Uh, yeah, it says Shotlock. So I don't know. We're, I'm just... I'm worried. I'm worried because this is a thing. There, there, there are things that are cool in this trailer on a really like cool metic on a really small micro meticulous level, and then there's stuff like this where I'm just like, you know, this didn't really pan out very well in the previous games. I don't know why you're bringing them back unless you plan to change them uh, to better suit the play style or the style of gameplay that you're shooting for. I'm just really worried. It's neat. If it goes over well, then that's great. Then I would be amazed, but I'm just really, really shitting my pants over here. So. And then this is their Mirage Staff finisher, which, yeah. yeah. And yeah, and like in these trailers, it's all, it. a lot of it, the majority of it is, is style over substance. We talked about this before in the trailer. It's really, it's a lot of, re re you know, repeating the same stuff. But, I mean, we could go on for days about that sort of thing. We've, we've already said it. I'm worried that style over substance is going to be a thing that detracts from the overall finished product as opposed to making it seem more hype. So, yeah. Hyper Hammer looks super cool. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. Uh, and then we got Cups. I'm really worried about this gigantic cluster fuck of shit. Like, is this all supposed to, like, potentially hit you? And if we're on higher difficulties, is this gonna be, like, literally the worst fight ever? I'm super concerned <laughs> about all this. All right, and so I think I read a tweet where, um, like, Rocket Ruckus and, um, and this is supposed to be, like, gummy... This, these are supposed to be, like, your gummies. It's supposed to be, like, gummy mission gameplay, but, like, act in actual combat, which is cool. I just hope that, again, like, all of these, all these things, when it, like, flow motion, which we're going to see in a second, flow motion, shot locks... Um, grinding on rails, dives, gummy missions, gummy mission gameplay, um, limits, like all of this, I'm really worried that all this stuff is going to be really separate from each other in that like, if you want to go and do something to a boss, you have to pick instead of being able to mix and match them together in a really, uh, in a really cool way, I can't find a better way to pr say it than cool. In 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 interesting and um, interesting and creative ways, like Kingdom Hearts Two. Kingdom Hearts Two was like the the king of being able to use limits, magic, uh, drives, and just regular old combat, like all together in one. You didn't have to like sacrifice on uh, on choosing one or the other. So, so yeah, I'm just, I, 
I'm more. I'm worried. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I. I do not want to come off as saying like I hate this game and I think it looks awful. I'm just really concerned because I've played all these games and I. I've seen what works and what doesn't, and it's like it's like they're just kind of throwing everything together in a big old pot and just kind of hoping that it sticks. I just hope that it sticks, but uh, I'm worried that some of these things just aren't going to. And then right here, like a lot of mobility, that's great, but does the mobility complement the combat? Or is the mobility going to be a big bane on your ability to attack enemies and do other cool stuff? Again, I'm just I'm worried. It, it seems it, it's just seem it seems so ambitious. It seems like they're really trying to create like the biggest, baddest, hypest Kingdom Hearts game that they've ever seen, and it's clearly a lot of people think that think the same way. A lot of people think this is going to be the biggest, baddest, and most amazing Kingdom Hearts game in the world. But I just have a lot of questions uh, about the design. Yep. Slow motion again right there, it's straight out of 3D. We got yo-yos. We got, we got yo-yos. Dude, I'm, I'm hype, alright? I think <laughs> this shit looked cool when I saw it, uh, like, a, 20 minutes ago. This shit looks amazing. Please be really cool. Please be awesome. And then we have Unversed. I don't... <laughs> oh my, no and then we have Vanitas. Oh yay, Vanitas. I hope that you do something and there's some interesting characterization going on here just besides, oh dude, Ventus, like, lol, that's like all I am about. Alright, and that's it. And then, and then it ends. So, we'll just go ahead and move on to, to this. Alright, so... That's trailer number one. Summary. It seems like they're, it's really ambitious, but I have a lot of questions. I have so many questions. Um, if you're worried about why I didn't touch on, like, story stuff and theory stuff, it's because I don't fucking care, all right? There are other people that you can watch to give you your fucking theories, so do that. All right, so let's move on to this next one. This could be so cool. All right, so I, I think you guys noticed it already at the start. How did I live in a kingdom of thieves? Utada sounds amazing. Her voice sounds like fantastic compared to like 10 years ago when she did Sanctuary. But here's the problem. <sighs> Who did this beat? Who did this beat? Someone did the dirty. The dirty D. Alright? Someone someone fucked up, alright? <laughs> I wanted I want names. I want names for who fucked up this beat in the background because it could be so good, but it is so... What are these offbeats in the background? It doesn't go together. It doesn't... The timing is awful. I don't... There are too many hesitations. There are too many hesitations when they should be hitting it. Like right there. It's it's supposed to be, now it's supposed to be going a little bit faster, but they just hold back in the moment where it's supposed to be better.
All right, your boy's got some new duds. All right, your boy Riku looking hella fine. Hella fine. Mickey looking all right, too. He's looking pretty, he's looking pretty, he's looking pretty cool. He's looking pretty clean right now. Everybody else was talking about um, how they, <laughs> someone told Nomura, dude, no more belts. Belts not allowed. And he was like, all right, fuck you guys. I'm bringing out the checkered pants, dude. Fuck y'all. I'm doing, I'm doing my own thing. Oh. この。It's not Noctis. He's got a V-neck. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got the plan. Oh, Jesus Christ. He looks so Noctis right now. Oh, I guess um god. Look at these. You guys see these <laughs> Do you guys see Mickey's eyes? I didn't notice this before. They look sunk in. Do you guys see this shit? It's so weird now that I'm looking straight at it. Like, you would think that Mickey's eyes are like, you know, they're, they lined up, right? But it's like there's this little divot. <laughs> what the heck? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> what is... <laughs> What's going on with his eyes, dude? Why are they sunk in like that? Uh. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh in case the other me needs it. The law. I don't care. I honest who cares? I don't care. I don't care. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Not many. <laughs> Mickey has seen some shit. <laughs> Um, other than that, oh, I guess maybe one other remark, uh, these models look really good now, all right, at, at the very beginning, they looked really bad, I feel, uh, but they, it looks like they really, it looks like they've come a, a decent amount of, they've come a long way. Like, uh, hold on, let me, let me find it. Where is it? Your boy's eyes. Hold on, go back. They don't really leave home. These eyes look better. These eyes look way better than they did before. All right, they look a lot more detailed. They don't look like they're fish eyes. It look it looks like it matches the face. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot better. All right, so I will give them props where uh, I'll give them credit where credit is due. It looks even your boy Vanitas right here, like the lighting off of this. Um, off of his coat, like you can, you can see the texture, and I, I in the in the shine, the sheen off of his mask. I think it looks really good. It 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 honestly does. So, I care. I think that's cool. Uh, the story and what's gonna happen in KH three. I don't. I don't fucking care. Watch somebody else. All right. So that's it. Okay. So that's that's pretty much it. I don't have much to say. Uh. It's looking... <laughs> That's it. That is that is my final verdict. It looks... So I hope that turns out to be really good. Oh, man.